episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we are taking a look at the official Netflix trailer for Steven Soderbergh's new movie, uh, The Laundromat. Just blink for a second on that one. Uh, the story is about uh, more or less two con artists. Con, con art what two is con artists. Thank you. I, what, I don't know what is with me today. It's not and me today. Work. It's him. It's two pa story about two con artists played by Gary Oldman and Antonio Banderas. Mm -hmm. And they they they're Panama City law attorneys, I, law attorneys, yeah, law partners, pretty much, who have found a way to kind of exploit the world's financial system, pretty much. It centers around them. Uh, it is focused on primarily a widow, I believe, played by Meryl Streep, mm -hmm. who who discovers stumbles them. upon it. It stumbles upon it. So yeah, and take it from there. Take it from so there. let's dive right into this for the official Netflix trailer for the Laundromat. So here we go. Of lawyers like these. <laughs> You're real shit. Okay. 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 They turn into a book and turn into a movie. And 20 other innocent people. And somebody's making money from it. No one goes back to this law firm, Bosak, Fonseca. So what happens next? What do we do next? is this movie it's like this one little lady discovers it and it's like then she starts telling oh, everybody else who got con who got con pretty much and now they want their money and they're like ah oh, fuck and all even a lot of the, even the rich people pretty much are just like ah oh, crap somebody found out you know this type of stuff is if this doesn't scream if if this was any more of a Steven Soderbergh film, it would have fucking George Clooney and Brad Pitt in it. Well, that's what you're missing. That's all you're missing pretty much with this, but this hits it right in the bud pretty much. This so. is a Steven Soderbergh film. Based on a true story now, that would turn into a book, now it's being the book is being turned into this movie. Jesus Christ. I don't know, it looks like a... Despite it being based off a true story about a lot of good people being conned, it does look like a fun movie. It does. I don't know if Steven Soderbergh does that. Like, he does it in a way... Like, like Logan Lucky? I really enjoyed that film. Oh, that film was fun. That film... Mm. It had you intrigued. had you wondering. But it's like, at the same time, the characters were exciting. And he made the characters very interesting. We were like, what? I like this guy. You know? It's like, what the hell? You know? It's, it's like, you love... The way he makes these characters so very unique to stand out the most. It's like, wow, okay. This, this is very interesting. Like, even Gary Oldman's character is like, what the fuck? <laughs> I love the way Gary Oldman's acting. We didn't get a lot of Antonio Banderas. I love the way Gary Oldman's acting. His acting is in this is fantastic. He does an really amazing fun. fucking job. And, um, you know, but yeah, it looks. I definitely think it looks like a good film. And a great full cast. The amount of people he... They, again, Steven Soderbergh always ha he pulls in those oh, pretty much celebrity nuts. And if you didn't notice, the blonde lady she was talking to in the grocery store, that's Melissa Rauch as yeah. well. So, yeah, like, it is. You know, but it's like, again, the celebrity pool that he has with a lot of his films, pretty much, he... He jams packed it with like so many great actors in this. You're sitting there going, yeah. "Oh, this actor, this actor, oh shit, this actor." You know, you're like, "Holy crap!" You know, yeah. just like Logan, Lu you know, Logan Lucky, pretty much another film that had nothing but great celebrities in it. You're just like, "What the fuck? Who else are we missing?" You know, so yeah. Overall, it definitely looks like a really. It looks like a, another film it looks, I definitely want to watch. I want my checking out. I've loved Steven Sorber a lot. I love Steven Sorber films. You know, the Ocean stuff and um. Uh, Logan Lucky, like I said, yeah. so like... It's like he finds a way to where 
it's still a serious movie. Like shit, even the music sounded like it came from Ocean's Eleven. Oh yeah, that's what I said. It's, it, it always he, he does it in a way where it's it's either a heist movie or not even a heist movie. It's one of those you know uh, who done it type of thing, or you know they have to piece the puzzles together. It's like he does it in a way where you're having fun with it. You know, it's not like a serious take on a movie, but he does he does it where it's like he, you're having fun with these characters along for the ride. And it's like, you know, you want to sit there going, what the hell happens at the end of it with all these people involved? So it's like, he does such a great job of piecing this all together. And if you have, again, if you haven't watched any of the Ocean's movie, where have you been? But also, if you haven't checked out, like, Logan Lucky, definitely check that film out. That is, a, that, to me, to us, that's a, such a fun film to actually watch and to enjoy. Yeah. And this is going to be, looks like this is going to be another one to enjoy to watch. To watch. Yeah, definitely. So, other than that, if you need a channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else, when it comes to talking about Netflix original movies, hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys thought of this trailer overall. Does it definitely remind you of uh, his previous films and stuff like that we had mentioned? Or even other ones that pretty much that he's done that maybe we did not mention? Uh, what are you guys' thoughts on this, the story itself? Have you heard about the story before? And what's your guys' take on it of how they're displaying it in this film? Uh, let us know in the comments below, especially if you read the original book as well. I mean, not the original book, but the book it's, that's actually based. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, but, uh, but also with that, what you thought of our reaction as well. But most importantly, thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Kristen. Uh, I'm Christopher. And this has been a very laundromat-filled episode of SRB. See you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out your previous reactions, as well as our other shows, click the playlist down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can check us out on Twitter. As well as Stardust. At Super React Bros.